Hello! Welcome. We're back. It is Cool People Monday. Uh, we're playing- I'm like looking all over the place. We're playing some Don't Starve. Uh, Petey, don't starve! What is- what is this game? Why are we playing it? Listen, Don't Starve is a 2D survival game. Uh, very, very harsh <laughs> and very, very punishing kind of a game. Uh, we've been playing it since last- I don't know, for a few weeks now, I suppose. And we've got this one run going that's been going for a pretty long time. We're into our second year in-game, and we are... What are we? We're probably almost in spring now? We're either in the spring or, the, or just starting the summer now of the second year. Um, crucially, I think what we want to do today is... This has been suggested by uh, Rango in chat uh, last time we played is that we should look around and try to see if we can find a ship somewhere on the edge of the map, which will let us transfer from our current world to a shipwrecked world. So that's our goal for today. Our goals, goal number one, stay alive. Goal number two, find a boat. Let's do it. We're playing in Reign of Giants mode. That seems to have been a mistake. <laughs> People have variously advised me against it. We just got to wait on this black loading screen right now. Isn't that exciting? Isn't that wonderful? We're gonna go to paint real quick. You know what we- you know how we do- it's not even gonna be worth it. We're just gonna be right- it's gonna come up as soon as I go to paint. I know what's gonna happen. But even so... Wait... Bam! Now we're looking at something anyway, jeez. Uh, this is a blank canvas. We can use it to write my name. Like this. P-I-O-I... T just waiting for the game to load. B <laughs> Well, why did why did it break the line like that? B stop this. Why? Paint, why you do this to me? Still waiting for the game to load. I should have done this beforehand. This is on me. Do 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 And we can use this as our new um No, how we wanna do this? Boom boom. No, I want to go like boom. Okay, we'll just leave it. Okay, we're back in the game. We're back in the game. Let's let's get into it right after I finish this important underlining. Boom, boom, boom. Piotr Bizzle. Great. Bam. Now we're playing a game. Now we're playing a game. Okay, let's get into it. Beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, working on the branding. As you can see, it is still black and pink. <laughs> and in MS Paint, unfortunately. Okay, let's get into this. Let's see what we were doing. We built the pig house right next to our regular house. That was probably a mistake because it's going to be the full moon again tonight and the pig is going to come out and attack us again. I do have an umbrella, which is convenient because it's raining, of course. Let's put on our hat. Let's just take stock of what we're doing here real quick. I seem to have multiple football helmets, which is fine. We can put on this one that's about to break and then switch to the one that's not about to break later. We have an umbrella. Our health is kind of low. Do we have any trail mix kicking around? We have uh, plenty of food. Missing some sanity. Okay, do we have pigskin? I love games that are so completely incomprehensible outside of context. We built the pig house here and that was a mistake because it's a full moon tonight. Oh yeah, I don't know, I don't know what doesn't make sense about that. I was thinking about Oh, we have actually three of these hats. Good. <laughs> Good, this seems like the right amount of these to be carrying around. Um, I was thinking about that this weekend, because I was like, is this game really hard, or is it just obtuse? And weird things happen that you could never expect, and the game punishes you for it. And I think that while that's true, the game is also still hard. But that's definitely an element of it. It's just like, oh! You built the pig house too close to your house, and you forgot that at the full moon... Actually, we did know the pigs become weird pigs at the full moon. So maybe that's a bad example. That one really is just on me. Our lightning rod totally uh, tanked that lightning bolt. That's awesome. What am I trying to do? Make some, um, some of these. I need ashes. Right. Okay, I can make at least one of these healing salves. We've got berries on the berry bush, which you love to see. Alright, that got us some health back. That's good enough for now, anyway. Those three hats are my stock grants and the percent of value they've retained. Well, 72 is not bad. But yeah, 4% and 6%. It's a big oof. I would say it's a big, it's a big oof. 
Yep. Oh, and look, and because it's spring, also our bees are, are angry and hateful right now. So look, we also made the bees too close to our base too. So now they're just a bunch of killers. Just a bunch of god dang killers. Can we plant some of these seeds? So the whole reason that we put the pig house close to our base was because I had this idea that a pig would come out of the house and we could make friends with them and then chase them around to regain our sanity. Because when you're close to a pig, you get sanity back for some reason. Oh, look! Oh, it made the bushes sick! Wait, 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 let's get our bucket of poop. What happened to the killer bee swarms that were supposed to be a problem in 2020? Oh, yeah! The, the, the super, whatever they were, the death hornets? The giant ones? I know what you're talking about. What did ever happen to them? I guess everything else happened, and we all forgot. Thanks for protection from the elements, tree! Ya dang tree! So why are these ones, like, needing to be refertilized? Am I picking them too early? Or is it always gonna be... Let's just refertilize them. This might be a waste, actually. Maybe these will be... Go back to normal afterward? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, look! There's a, there's a beautiful butterfly. Let's... Oh, Chester, we did a, a, a profane ritual and increased the size of Chester's uh, inventory, which is pretty cool. At the end of last time, we, like, filled him up with evil spirits <clears throat> on the full moon, and now he has an extra row at the bottom of his, uh, of his inventory here, which is pretty dope. Okay. Let's catch some of these butterflies, because I have this idea that I want a beautiful field of flowers. And we can plant butterflies, and somehow they become flowers. It's not really clear to me what, by what mechanism, but that is the case. Come here, you! You devil! You demon! Uh, we're also going to be attacked tonight, so that's a bit of an extra problem. Let's do it like this. Do we have sufficient wood to make a campfire? We do. So, this is what we're doing. The plan's already coming together in my mind. Chester, you gotta take this net right away. I'm also going to task you with holding on to this bucket of two remaining poops. There's only two left in there. It's a shallow poop bucket. But do be aware that the, in the bucket, it is poop in there. However... What we really want to do is, we have grass tufts, good. Go hang out by the beefaloes and set up camp there for the night so that when we get attacked by these dogs, we can try to get them to fight the beefaloes instead. Let's go. We got the walking stick, we're on the road. We just gotta get there before they can get us. They are down there. I hear wolves howling. Although maybe our weird pig man would have fought... Oh, nope, they're here. We're too late. You're too late! Beefaloes! Fight these dogs! Look how many there are. Good God. Oh, look at all that stuff on the ground. I guess the beefaloes were fighting those spiders, too. Okay, they're freezing the beefaloes. There's a ton of great stuff just sitting on the ground here. I mean, I have to not get killed by these dogs. It's a bit of a priority for me. Shoot! Ooh, he hit hard. Let's get the, uh... I don't have a log suit anymore. Okay, let's make a log suit later. Do you think we can get him to stand, walk through this eyeball field? Sounds like yes. Oh no, Chester! Chester, are you okay, babe? I hear dogs still. What do you think, cow? Look, they're fighting the eyeballs, but it's okay. The eyeballs are fighting them too. So are the spiders. I don't know. Everybody's fighting everybody. It's, it's a bit of a mess. So this is what we want to do. I want to run around and pick up these spider goodies. Spider goodies. And then beat up that... That was great, actually. That went surprisingly well. These cows are being nice, also, which I love, to me. 
There's a spider in their midst somewhere. I can hear it. I think. It seems like we got most of the good stuff that's in that herd. So this is what we want to do. We want to take our tentacle spike. Make our way into the middle of this. Because supposedly, this guy will be full of monster meat and stuff. Because he eats all this stuff that was in there. Okay, where's Chester? Chester, can you, for me... Also, we need to make a campfire a ASAP as possible. Hold on to these blue gems. Hold on to... This silk. We're going to pick up more of these things probably, but we'll, we'll sort it out soon. Let's replant this. Oh, I actually don't want this. You can have this, spider. Oh, he ate it. He literally had it. Well, there you go. The plan worked. Chester, come over here and we're going to set up we're going to set up camp next to this uh, poop in this piece of grass. Nope. Grass tuft. Activate. Alright, we got a good healthy fire going. Let's put on our garland. Although we also need to be thinking about our health here. We need to get a bunch of ashes. I think a good way to do that would be to... Burn a bunch of stuff. Smart plan. Oh, it's the full moon! I don't need this campfire. Oh, I'm dumb. I forgot. I said it was going to be the full moon, but I forgot what that actually meant. Get these hound's teeth. Look at all these free poops just lying around for anybody to take. That's crazy. Alright, we didn't need the fire. It was a mistake. But I also can't go back to my base right now. It's like the streets of San Francisco. Ah, yes. Plenty of... Whoa, 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 whoa. No, whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't hit Chester. What a D-bag. Um, yeah, plenty of free fertilizer just sitting around all over the place. So convenient. Oh, that was a waste of a grass tuft. We gotta replace this. Chester? I We gotta make ourselves whole vis-a-vis -vis this grass tuft. So, I'm just gonna dig out this one. And then we'll be net zero. We are grass tuft neutral. We also need wood. So actually, let's just go lumberjacking in the middle of the night, like a bunch of sneak thieves, and see if we can, uh... get some more wood here. Although it is a little spooky, and we do need a log suit. Don't starve, but carbon neutral. The ultimate challenge. Offset your emissions. We plant a lot of berry bushes. Do those count? We, we planted some birch trees, true, too. Hello, Rango, what's going on? All right, it's a new day. We've got a bunch of spider loot. Let's go lumberjacking today. We don't have to worry about it being a full moon again after this, so our pig friends will be our pig friends. We also have all the monster meat from the dogs that just fought all those beefaloes. That's good. We need food a little bit, but in a pinch we could just munch on these seeds. Where are some good trees to cut down? So our ultimate goal for today, and by ultimate I... I don't know if I mean last or main, uh, is to look for the shipwrecked ship, or whatever it is that's on the edges of the map, somewhere. So we're gonna be we're gonna be scooting around looking for that a little bit during this run. Oh, will these give me endothermic fires? Replant all saplings, kill the beefaloes and pigs to extinction. <gasps> endothermic fires, I guess, would do it. Yeah, yeah, those things would all would all sort of help. In various various degrees of eff effed upness, <laughs> they would they would all they would all contribute. Okay, I don't need to be holding one poop in my in my very hands. Do I have more silk? We got a bunch of silk from those spiders. That's good. We got a couple more blue gems. Um. Okay, we need to make an axe and then chop down these trees. Great. Break. How you liking Shadow Chester? I like him a lot. I pressed the wrong button to chop that down. I wasn't even holding the axe. I have a... I have a shovel. That is a problem. 
That's a good reason that's not gonna work. Uh, Shadow Chester's dope. I was just bragging about him at the beginning of the stream and enjoying his extra slots. There's that Devolver game coming out where the goal is to erase all traces of humanity. I saw a uh, YouTube video of somebody playing the, the demo or the beta or whatever of that. It looked kind of cool. Where it's like a city builder, but you're like doing nature stuff. No, no, no. Chester, get out of the way. I gotta get these pedals. Anyway, I'd check above McTusk. That's a good idea. Yeah, so where's McTusk? He's all the way out here. Oh, like up over... Well, we've got the coastline here, unless there's some kind of a secret inlet. Is that what an inlet is? I don't remember from geography class. Do you remember the picture in geography class that has like all the different kinds of land forms? Yeah, backward city builder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, never mind. You checked that already. Yeah, I guess I guess we must have at some point. We'll take a look at the map. Let's get back to the house and eat something after we do a little bit of uh, choppy choppy in. We'll just eat the seeds to tide us over. We can feed some of this monster meat to um, our pig friend. Okay, we need to zoom out and check where we haven't been. Yeah, we'll take a look at the map when we get back to the to the house in a bit. We'll plan our next move. For today, I think our move is just get a bunch of wood. The spring music is real nice. Agreed, it's so jazzy and fun. I feel like we're out here having a good time when actually we're, you know, clinging by our very fingernails to the, the this, this horrible life that we've been granted on this bizarre hell island. I can't carry any more stuff. That's true. Okay, fair enough. I feel like ROG music really stepped it up. I can't remember, or I guess I don't have a good frame of reference for what's ROG music and what's just the regular Don't Starve music, but it is V-good. Let me know if it's too loud. It looks okay, but... My... S the, the ratio of like how loud it sounds in my ears to how loud it sounds to you is messed up after that one time when uh, the sound cut out for me. The sound cut out on stream. I think when we were playing Crying Suns maybe a couple weeks ago. So I feel like my... I have trouble dialing it in just by ear. But I can always look at the levels. Anyway. Our butterflies are gonna die too. Okay, let's get back to the house and plant our butterflies near the house. We could put our umbrella on right now, or we could dig up this last sapling. And then put our umbrella on. You need some cooked green mushrooms for sanity? Don't they uh, trade off some other resource? By, uh, by the way, hey, real Nebraska Ann. Hello, hello, welcome. We're uh, playing some Reign of Giants. Yeah, we need to do something for sanity. My move for sanity is that um, we... We have a pig who lives near our house, and I want to just be his friend and chase him around to get sanity that way. Seems to be an okay way to do it. Or we could set up the bee farms. We have one bee box, I think. Let's check on that. Although the bees are really mean right now because it's springtime. One health trade-off? Okay, maybe that's not such a big deal then, yeah. We'll keep our eyes peeled for green mushrooms. Let's just plant these nice, uh, butterflies. Just get some flowers. Taffy is a whopping 15 sanity. We've got, um... Oh, we made Taffy before, but we don't have any right now. Spring means angry bees, yeah. Okay, let's see. What food we got in the fridge? Before I go... Okay, we got some meatballs in here. Perfect. It's been a few days since we played this, so I'm kind of getting back into the swing of, like, what we have here. Um, in the morning, yeah, we'll give some monster meat to that guy. Let's just cook the rest of this monster meat. Um, because we're out of drying racks. And we will talk to the pig, give him some food, chase him around, pick some flowers, do all of these things to try to get some more sanity here. We have a plan.
I guess I could I didn't need to wait to get to my house to do that. Uh, we have a random sapling on our person, right? Let's just plop this down somewhere, like there. The ice fling matic is ready to go for the winter. Okay. Uh, yeah, we have a bee box here. Oh, is this ready? Is this a, uh... Oh, it's a durian. I don't really want that, but okay. Gross. Fruit goes in here. Let's pop the meat in the fridge just for the moment, even though we're gonna pop it back out in... really soon here. Let's look for... So, picking is always angry bees. I guess that's true, yeah. Eggplant! Durians are having a moment, according to the <laughs> hipster food vlogs you follow. Alright, maybe we should give the durian a second chance then. Doesn't it smell, like, famously awful? I guess that's the whole point of durians. Is that I go into your house, and you crack open a durian, and I say, what the hell is wrong with you? And you say, no, 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 this is very fancy, don't you know? And then I feel foolish. Oh, it's a durian. Careful with monster meats. Uh, durians count as fruit and monster-type food. Oh, weird. Yeah, it smells like rotten eggs. Ugh. Who would design this fruit? <laughs> who would, who would, who would, who would greenlight this fruit? That's what I want to know. Sorry, we're just getting organized a little bit. While we wait for the sun to come down here. Let's put on our, oh no, we can leave on our, our good hat for now. We got silk here. We got silk. Bam. We have kind of a lot of silk now. Yeah, we, we got mixed food types. Uh, we've got a ton of blue gems somewhere, right? Yeah, here. We needed nine blue gems for something, right? Or was it a different number? We have nine blue gems now. If it's the right number, then great. If it's the wrong number, then just FYI. <laughs> that's, how, that's how many we have. Um, gonna be night soon-ish. Fruit designed by Markov bot. <laughs> ah, yes. In the new DST update, they have sweet fish, but they aren't sweeteners, though. I feel betrayed by Clay. Is sweet fish one of those weird things where it's like sweet meats are like not actually sweet, they're just gross? Are they Swedish fish? Also a good question. Sweet fish. <laughs> it's just saying sweet fish in a weird voice. Yeah. Getting, just doing some chores by the house while we wait for it to uh, be super dark. Scandinavian swimmers? Mm-hmm. Yeah? We could probably uh, let go, just tank some of this rain for a little bit. Actually, yes, they call Swedish fish, which sounds like Swedish. Ah! But they don't sweeten. How strange. Alright, we're getting some sanity back. We're a little bit low on everything. Um, what I would love to do is set a bunch of crap on fire to make ashes. How about that? What's something that we could burn a bunch of? Like, I'll take those flowers. Oh, do we have a bunch of, like, something stupid like sticks or seeds or... Not sticks. Maybe not. Maybe we just gotta go burn down some stuff. We can go, we can go start a small forest fire, perhaps, to get some ashes. Some wood. Some of these woods to make the healing salves. Time for arson, Piotr. I'm thinking about it. We gotta be careful. Have a gender reveal party? That's a great idea. Yes, we are going to do that. Uh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Cool. Honey, I believe, is the only sweetener right now, so new sweetener is the new biome, which is a bit far off. Could, uh, would be cool. Oh, if they put new sweetener in the new biome. I love that they're still, like, working on this game as much as they are. Let's cook all these monster meats that we had. Our lantern is full, right? These light bulbs are going bad. Cook. Can you ferment things? This is a good question. We could make, um... We could make some, uh, oh my god, what is it called? The, the honey wine that's super old. Mead! We can make some mead! Yeah! Wait, we can save the durian for a fruit medley. Okay, we got it. The durian, consider it saved. Meadish fish. <laughs> Meadish fish is when you do, like, you know vodka gummy bears? It's the same thing, but you suspend, uh, Swedish fish in mead. You know what? 
I would drink a cocktail called sweet, a meatish fish that's just, or it has mead as a base ingredient and is garnished with a little Swedish fish on the glass. That would be dope. Melon, durian, and two berries. Oh, do we need to save this for an important hat? Or do we want to do the fruit medley? I'll do the fruit medley. We've never seen that before. Let's do it. I'm on board. And two berries? Bam. Let's get fruity. <laughs> it's tutti fruity time. We got all the fruits. Watermelon, durian, and nondescript berries. This is all of them. <laughs> inspect the medley? We will inspect the medley. Can you make fruit loops? Also an important question. Is this a loop game? Oh, giant spatula. We found out that, um... No! 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 A fistful of jam! Ugh. What happens if I eat it? Is it bad for me? No, it's kind of good for me. It's just not great. Um, we found out that Crying Sons isn't quite a loop. Um, there are a lot of loop-like qualities, but it is not a loop game. Damn it, need stronger fruits. It's okay, we've got the farms going. Although I think we need to replant one of them. Maybe both of them? Fortunately, there's some seeds right there. Uh... Oh yeah, I missed Crying Sons yesterday. I missed the Twitch notif. Ah, no worries. What happened? Uh... We had a build that was all about fighters, but I still ended up using drones in the end. I just read two romance novels instead. That's not a bad way to spend a, a Sunday afternoon. Bees! Oh! The bees didn't like that. This was a mistake. It was an error, it was a miscalculation, a misjudgment, and also a kerfluffle. Okay, let's, um... We... The bees... Look, they didn't want me to have their precious soggy honey. <laughs> As in... Don't open the bee box! It's soggy, honey! Whoa! They're messing with Chester! You leave him alone! You, you demons! Chester, come with me! Get out of there! Barely got out of there with our lives. Are they still here? Chester! Chester, look out! Okay, who do we want to sting? It was a bug. <laughs> it was a bug! Hmm, 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 hmm. We need to turn these bugs into a feature. Oh, they're all taking little naps. I love when the bees sleep. It's so funny. They just literally lay down on the ground. That's not what bees do. Oh, it's good. And I would know. I got bees in my house. I know what bees do. My bees right now, they're out there, um... What do they do? Washboarding? They've been washboarding because it's been real hot. It's very, it's very interesting. <laughs> All right, okay, okay. So I said we were going to look around and make a plan, right? So let's zoom out and make a plan. This is too far zoomed out. I can't work with this. Are the bees fans of the band police? <laughs> because thing? I think we have to assume that they are. Yeah. That's like a joke that you would read on a popsicle stick. <laughs> that's, oh, that's pretty rough. Nondescript berries, for all we know, could be poisoned. We could be seeing all of this in some nightmare before Christmas on drugs. You're welcome. Please, I, no, I appreciate it. I mean, the name of the stream is we're looking for a boat, so we're call we called it looking for sloop. Um, so I, you know that I appreciate these kinds of, uh, you know, this uh, brand of humor. Okay, so all down here, we haven't seen the edge of this whole area. This is, seems like an, a reasonable place to look. Um, other places we haven't seen the edges of, this whole place, down here, uh, this whole place... We've, I mean, basically everywhere. Basically everywhere, I did the same bad move of running in, making a U-shape, and then leaving. You'd guess more rock biome? Should we check down here then? Let's check out the rock biome. I'm on board. I did the same dumb thing everywhere. We have this same loop shape everywhere where I just run in, get hit some kind of an end, or just get scared or bored or whatever, do a U-turn, come right back, and don't explore the whole place. Okay, let's let's check out the rock biome. I'm on board. Uh, we let's wait for the bees to clear out, and we'll make some little meatballs or something. Uh, the bees run the camp now. They're in charge. They they've occupied my my base. 
Next game, you should draw your face in the map <laughs> with the map instead of exploring. I would do it. There's a stinger here. I don't need it particularly. Let's get some berries while we wait for the bees to please let us live our life. I do loop shape because I'm also lazy. Yeah, it just feels right. It's like, oh, I'll go out. I got to come back home. I guess I'll kind of go, you know, in a little bit of a loop. But then ultimately I'm trying to get back on track to the way that I know gets me home. Anyway, my health is super low, actually. I think I got stung by bees more than I realized. We should do that thing where I said I was going to make a big fire. Let's do that. Write a bot to do a random walk. Not a bad idea. That'd be really interesting to see if you could make a bot play this game. <laughs> like an AI. I don't know how it would go. You have to be... I guess it could do like a really boring run, maybe. The B military occupied your base. Yeah, they really... They're really giving us a hard time right now. Okay, look at this wood. See this wood? What some fine logs. Everybody approves of these logs being on the ground. Is there a Twitch plays let, uh, Don't Starve? That'd be dope. Do people still do Twitch plays? They should. I think now you just backseat people. <laughs> you just go watch somebody playing Hollow Knight and tell them what to do. That's Twitch plays now. I see some videos by Orange in the DST community is on bots. Oh, interesting. So it is a thing. He has, even has a DST server full of bots. That's kind of dope. Let's get those ashes, and we'll make some healing salves, and we will heal ourselves up. Left. Start. <laughs> let's see. Left. Start. Oh, we're in the pause menu. You made it. Um, let's go make those salves. I don't think we want to delay doing that much more. Just in case we get owned by something unexpectedly. Is our pigman friend back yet? I want to feed him some monster meat. And, uh, oh no! Chester, you have a poop bucket, right? Chester, you're full of shit, right? Perfect. Let me just... Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's not hold the torch while we do that. I'm supposed to be holding the poop bucket. <laughs> that almost went disastrously wrong. Uh, okay. That was almost a huge, a huge problem. Oh look, some free turkey. I think the bees killed a, um, killed the turkey. Are the bees still occupying my base? I need to live here. Bees. Okay, so we have some drumsticks. The video got weird. Wigford was an idiot and died from starvation and Maxwell looted her corpse. And her ghost, like, w followed around trying to pick up the grass like them. Oh, I see. So the bots didn't know how to... Right. So the bots interacted with each other in kind of a weird way. Uh, okay. So let's make some Amita balls. Uh, you know it. I know it. One, two, three. We need monster meat and berries. One, two, three. Does Maxwell have a silver hammer? He could... That's a hell of a reference, uh, but he, we could give him, we have a, a, a gray hammer. That's the silver of, I haven't made this silver enough yet. <laughs> Is that a hell of a reference? It's like, that's, it's like 70 years old, <laughs> right? When was, no, it's probably like 60 years old, right? Maybe less than that, 55? I <laughs> keep adjusting it down. I also referenced the police. I guess so, yeah. Uh, it's kind of a weird song, though. <laughs> it's kind of... I mean, e even if you were referencing the Beatles, I don't know. It's 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 a little niche, that's all. Uh, you try it on everything at lots in world settings to see who is best by... Sur uh, oh, who survived the longest, basically. Interesting, so you put all the bots against each other for the different characters. Unsubscribe? No, wait, what I meant to say was it's a fine reference. Um, exemplary, even and indicates a truly cultured person, citizen of the world, period. Bees, leave Chester alone. Leave Chester alone, he's trying to live his life. Thanks, resub resubscribe, good. Got your back. Bee, stop it. Why do the bee and Chester have beef?
Speaking of resubbing, I was very briefly at uh, 50 followers, but I think <laughs> somebody unfollowed me. So we're back at 49 again. It's good. This is where this is where we belong. I feel much more comfortable at 49 followers than at 50, if I'm totally honest. Let's eat this. Please don't slowly kill Chester. Chester, stand up for yourself. Or at least get out of there. Chester, come over here. Get away from that bee. <laughs> did you forget your walking cane? I did forget it. Yeah. Let's put it on whenever we're not using something else. Good idea. Uh, cook this. Chester recovers health hu hugely. He won't die to a bee. Oh, okay, good. Cool, cool, cool. Also, you missed who won. Oh, let me see. Oh, because Clay is Canadian. Of course, Woody the Weir Beaver, Canadian Lumberjack, survived longest. Nice. Very good. Is he just the strongest character? <laughs> Um, let's make some healing salves. That's what I said I was going to do. And by golly, let's do it. Let's pound down some spider, uh, some spider organs. I see nothing wrong with that. And neither do you. Let's, let's make them. Heal me. Heal me. We'll leave it there for now and carry around this last heal. Because I reckon we could heal up from, like, some little food or, or flowers or whatever on the side. We... Okay, we have a little bit of time before it gets dark. We're gonna go down to this stone biome tomorrow. So, do we have the things that we need for that? We have enough wood, yes. We have the grass we need to make a fire. It's probably not gonna become summer. So we have an umbrella in this for it being spring. Uh, Chester, do you have backup weapons? Let's get you another backup weapon, Chester. Uh, you're fine, actually. You've got one in there. I mean, we have a lot right here. Hold on to this. And we can drop the 42% when things get really dicey. I just feel safer this way. Can you, though, hold on to my... Nothing. Everything is fine here. Good. We have all the right stuff. No, he kind of sucks in single player, but you need to play his fever dream of a character. And he can be Goose and Moose in DST Rework. Oh, he's the one who can turn into the Goose. Jesus, Goose, like I said before as well. Take that, Bible. A Canadian man who turns into a Goose beats you. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? 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 When did they become in competition with one another? I think I missed something. He kind of... The, 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 his fever dream of a character, he can be Goose. Oh, because he walks on water. Jesus Goose. Because the Goose can walk on water. I remember it now. It makes sense. It does make sense if I had remembered that. Okay. We're on, I'm, I'm caught up. It took me a little bit, I'll be honest. We got there in the end. Should we just walk out there with a lantern? Let's just take some light, bul uh, some light bulbs and walk out there with a lantern. I don't care. We've got plenty of sanity for the moment. Um, and our light bulbs are gonna go, we're not gonna use 21 light bulbs before these go bad, right? So let's just put, like, a bunch in here, and just go for a, a little wander, uh, in the dark. Fine. Uh, this group, no, we'll wait, we'll check that out when we get back. Okay, stone biome. So this would be the wrong way. Get some flowers. Delicious. So devotees will know that I have a... Uh, I grow peppers at my house. But I have two pepper plants. One of which does occasional big peppers. And one which spans tiny pe spams out tiny peppers constantly. And the one that spams out tiny peppers constantly... The little flower buds are actually very delicious. Because uh, many of them don't... Uh, like set or whatever and don't grow peppers and when they do not grow peppers uh i eat the little flowers sometimes they're very good listen here in dst there's a salt box that can hold meat fruit and veggies only but keeps them longer two times more than an ice box a salt box that sounds good except jerky which is weird is that some kind of joke from clay 
Jerky does feel like it would keep in an ice box pretty effectively. I hope the Chester's okay. Haven't seen that little dude in a while. All right, we're gonna we're gonna scooch all around the edges here. We are looking for the boat. I am pursued by this dork here. I can't. Well, I guess I could put the lantern down and then hit him. And then I can do like one of these. There you go. No, 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 no. Then we need to put this right back on. Bam. He dropped guano. I don't want it. Chester's fine, which is good. We were really low on sticks for a while somehow, and we are definitely not low on sticks anymore, so that's good. doop a doop a doo Get some free sticks. This is all correct-ish, right? Yeah, so we'll we'll do we'll edge all around here. I guess if we reach this corner, we can just beeline straight back here, because we've looked all around these edges. Wandering with my lamp. Eat some quick flowers. Almost there. Something made a weird noise. Let's not try to think about it too much. Who would make that weird noise here? Also recently, the big sea trees you grow and don't starve together uh, were updated. They now grow those uh, new fruits. Oh, cool. Some new fruits. Cool. Yeah, we literally only needed one refuel there. Big sea trees sounds cool. We actually kind of need rocks, weirdly. So we'll pick up some loose rocks, and maybe we'll mine some on the way back. But let's not worry about it too much right now. I'll take flint. Wouldn't kick it out of bed. Looking for a boat. Remember, I said the ones in the new biome did, but ones you grew yourself didn't grow them before. Right. The new biome, right. And the new biome isn't coming out for a while, though. Do we know what the new biome will be? Do we have, like, is it like Minecraft where they tell us, like, a year ahead of time that they're going to do a cave update and then they do a different update instead? I don't, citation needed. No, it's out. Oh, okay. Maybe I'm getting my wires crossed a little bit. Looking for a boat. Big ol' boat. Flies on the ocean. Walks on the waves. It is a boat. We are desiring to see one. Normally they have a beta for ages, then they updo the- or then the update releases. Ah, okay. That makes sense. I feel like a game like this- I was thinking about how hard it would be to balance a game like this. Oh look, some feathers! Uh, let's just eat these seeds. We'll pick up a bunch of these feathers. We can put on- we should have had the walking stick on this whole time. That was an oversight. Um, bunch of free feathers here. I think some penguins met an unhappy end. By the look of it. I don't totally know what we do with feathers, but they're here. Not gonna lie, don't start together is getting less and less of a berry meta. I don't think I see anyone use them. People have 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 gone away from the old ways. What is this? I'm a I'm a berry meta fundamentalist. <laughs> oh nope. Uh I just like the berry meta. Well now you have like moon rocks. That seems like not a replacement for berries, but I could be mistaken. Looking for a boat. Ah, some free rocks. Talking of rocks. I'll have those. 
Thank you very much. Could always use some flint. But not that other flint. Just those ones. I'm very inconsistent about <laughs> wanting the flint. Should we be knocking down these ice glaciers? Maybe. Maybe. I can make something new now that I have a ton of rocks. Oh, you know what I said we were going to do? No, 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 no. I want to make a log suit. I need two rope. Trust me, like you crack them open and they're like avocados. Sounds good. All right, we got a log suit. We can pop that on if things get hairy. Just eating some little snacks. Still no boat. All right, so not here. Unless it's like right up here. But I think it would be pretty squished in here. I don't know. I don't know what I'm looking for really, so maybe. You gotta travel the lunar island though. Ooh. That's kinda cool. Hello, spiders on the other side of there. Let's, uh, actually, we don't need to pop on the, uh, umbrella quite yet. I think I'd rather try to get home. Some frogs. Man, I love frogs. Hey, look, is there, like, an, a thing in the middle there? Interesting. Okay. Let's just look. That's not, like... That was spooky. I don't love frog rain. Oh, my God, it's a rain of frogs. It is a plague of frogs. Are you going to become a frog guy? I could. I like their memes are very wholesome, I feel. I'm not against it. Uh, let's get the uh, umbrella up. Since all our stuff is getting wet now. This, it would be an example of a dead end. What a life. I'm getting frog rained on. Getting attacked by tons of stupid idiot bats. Oh, these seeds are, like, spoiled. Pepe has seen a lot of unwholesome use, especially in 4chan. True! Yeah, they really, they really co-opted him. It's kind of too bad. Kind of too bad. Okay, we got a sweet potato. Maybe I don't want frogs near my base. Here comes that boy. What wholesome frog memes are there? Here comes that boy. I don't know, like, um, it's Wednesday, my dudes. Those are good examples. But, like, um, I love frog rains. Are frog rains good? Um, Kermit, Kermiting, oh, no. Some of the Kermit memes, no, I'm not thinking of those. I'm thinking of, like, um, you know, memes where it's, like, it's dangerous to go alone. Take this. And it's a hand holding, like, a weird little frog. Or like, man, I love frogs. Kermit and Dark Kermit. I guess frogs do appear in memes a lot. So what should we do here? Should we be fighting these frogs? Should we, like, whip out a, a tentacle spike and start owning these boys? Yeah, so many frog legs. Yummy. All right, let's do it. I'm on board. Like gay frog memes? I guess so. Let's... We have two torches. Wah! Uh, okay, let's, um, <laughs> let's get the log suit on. Come on, you bastards. This is a mistake. Oh my god, there's so many. Rabbit traps. Just one. <laughs> just, just one rabbit trap. Do rabbit traps catch frogs? That was a disaster, by the way. Frogs, go in this rabbit trap. Do it. Do it. Go in here, you demons. You're gonna die? Maybe. We're fine. We're gonna do it. We got out of there okay. We, I had at least the foresight to wear the damn log suit. Let's 
let's maybe... Okay, we just need th that healing salve, really. Is the number one thing we need. Yes, lead to traps. Oh, yes, frogs do get caught in traps. Oh, okay. Uh, we kind of... Well, we can make another one here, right? Although, I gotta look out... I gotta dodge the frogs while I do this. So what do we need for the frog trap? We could probably... Yeah. Stop this. Leave me alone, frogs. I'm trying to live my life. Can't you understand that? What about a linear suit? It might be too late, but I made a frog trap. Come on. Oh, yeah. What an idiot. Hey, frog. Hi. Hello. What a precious, beautiful creature you are. Come over here. Come in this trap, you, you big, dumb moron. Oh, yeah. Hey, hello. You're such a wonderful, fascinating little specimen. Get in the trap. Yeah. They're supposed to sleep at night? Not when I'm here to wake them up. I wish we could carry live frogs. <laughs> Same. Would be dope. It's important that I carry these soggy seeds. The pig man appeared for one millisecond in the, in the door. Did you see that? Is this emotional manipulation? Absolutely. But listen, it's a harsh world here. We got to do what we got to do. Including <laughs> emotionally manipulating amphibians. Should the, should the need arise? If the fates allow, get out of here. Get out of here. Don't steal my fire. Cease this. I'm just trying to live my life. Can't you understand that? I'm just trying to, to, to con frogs. It's a frog eat frog world. Absolutely. They would eat me if I was a frog. Look at all these twigs. Okay, there's still a lot of frogs about. Notably, stop this. I'm so hungry. Okay, eat some meatballs, you drama queen. Uh, <laughs> what, are you, what are you complaining about? Uh, let's get another fridge, TBH, right? Should we- can we hang up the drumsticks? I kind of wanted to try to save the meat to make, um... Oh, we should cook it though, right? To make it last longer? Although I did just have an idea of where we could get two more meat. Have I made a mistake assembling, like, <laughs> an ecosystem near my house? I feel like, <laughs> like, the pig comes out and he fights the bees. This might be not something we want. Hey, frogs, come in this trap. Get in here. Piss, piss, piss. Piss, 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 piss. Oh, we got one. No, we didn't get him. Go in this trap. Go in here. Go in here. Come on. Is this trap not working? Worth the merm character in Don't Starve Together is uh, such she has to feed like the merm king she made. But not really. You can save food by just letting new monarchs take his place. Oh, so you just don't feed, like, you just, you're supposed to feed this guy, but instead you just don't do it. And that's the strat. Oh, <laughs> uh, it seems like it would work. Let's feed the pig man. Check it out. We're going to feed the pig man for sanity. Pig man, where'd you go? Oh, he died. Pig man, no longer with us. R.I.P. in peace. He was staying by a bee. Let us enjoy his meat together in remembrance. Uh, okay. Let's just make a bunch of meatballs. Still got a lot of frogs bouncing around. Bit of a problem. Still haven't dumped off all the stuff from... Yeah, build mer- this is- this is a good tip, I can tell already. Yeah, build merm houses nearby to constantly take his place, and I feed the new one just enough to become king. Oh, this actually is a good tip. Right. So you just keep cycling through monarchs? Where it is like a city builder, but with merms. Ah! Okay, let's put our pumpkin in here. Soggy pumpkin, that's what they called me in school. Um, don't know why. Let's get the wet trap down. Oh, also our log suit is down here. Did they? They did. Listen, they they did. Oh, uh, look, it's nature. We got one. 
He sees this. You guys are hurting my feelings and also my bones. I'm just trying to trap you and eat your legs. Is that so wrong? You cowards. You princes. You picky demons. Go in here. Where's the pig man? I think he died. We picked up a piece of meat. So I think that was him. <laughs> oh, the traps are great. This was a very good tip. This is, this is sublime. Frog legs for days. Is Murm a slur? It does kind of sound like one. Uh, I think that's what they're called. Although I don't know. No, that's their name. Okay, confirmed. Not necessarily a slur. All right, do we need another fridge? We need another fridge, frankly. If I'm completely honest. We are running out of space. Or we just gotta carry a pumpkin around. Ariel is a dumb merm. When you say it like that, I mean, geez. Um, we got gears, right? Do I got the gears? Do I got the gold for second fridge? Just like we call the lazy, greedy slave slaves pigs and don't starve. Oh, the slave pigs and don't starve? They are pigs. They're pigs. We got pigs. We got merms. It's fine. That's what they literally are. Let's do... What? How do I make a fridge? Use your brain, PD. Stop. Think. Make a plan. It's in the science tab. Okay. We got there in the end. Fridge. For cold food. You put it in... Oh, maybe it's under food? It is indeed. Icebox needs weirdly no ice, but it does need a smooth stone, which I can easily make. Although my inventory... Oh no, we got room for it. And then I also need... Let's just put away these feathers. And then we will do the next thing, which is get gold. My brain is like... Just big enough to play this game. Like, literally, just... Just, there's like... There's so much... I don't know, swapping between RAM and disk. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. I can't, I'm not quite smart enough to play this game. Okay. Um, let's make that goddamn fridge that we've been dreaming of. Second fridge, live in large. Bam. Okay, putting the food in. Because we're carrying around all the stuff that's just honestly spoiling as we speak. Eat those meatballs. Okay, uh, that new Disney film, Luca, Merm representation. I have some complaints about human washing Merm culture and looks. Oh, Luca was cute. Luca was about how Italians have feelings. That is the most far-fetched Disney uh, concept I've ever heard. Perfect. Coherent sentence, PD. We got the joke out. Um, I'm Italian. So, I say that. Let's... Do... Oh my god, put away the gold, PD. You don't need to be carrying gold around, right? Probably? No? Making some meatballs. Am I ever not making meatballs in this game? I feel like... If I... If anytime I don't know what to do, I should just go make some meatballs. They eat more fish than pasta. Zero out of ten. Italians eat fish sometimes. Are you making meatballs <laughs> because you're Italian? It's, it's a, uh, yeah, it's a compulsion. I can't help it. I, I feel drawn to the, uh, the cooker. Like, we could make other foods, but I look at it, I look at, like, all the ingredients, I get them all together, and I'm like, okay, cereal, milk, a bowl, a spoon, looks like we're making some meatballs. Let's do it. That's, that's, that's what the sickness is like. Is a bowl considered an ingredient? <laughs> Write me a letter. Write me a postcard. Let me know. We haven't done that joke in a while. Something's making a weird noise. In the distance. I don't like it. Oh my god, look at all these frog legs. Quick, get them off the ground. 
They're still good. They're still good. Make crate after crate of mac and cheese. Hey, it worked for us in uh, Bloodstained. You need a bird in a cage. Hmm. You need a P.O. box to write your postcards. True. Um, we can make a bird cage. You want to do one? I'm up for having a pet bird. Man, there's this other streamer I like. Uh, Disembodied Voices. And he has a little uh, cockatiel that uh, it doesn't appear on stream, but you can hear it in the background of every stream, and it's very heartwarming. Um, I, I was watching his stream, and I was like, ah, oh, I gotta get a little bird. That's the key to being a good streamer. That's it. If only I had a little bird. So let's do it. We can at least simulate it in this game, if nothing else. Okay, how do I make a bird in a cage? Yeah, but I love pasta, so it's only Italian, just like pasta is the only Turkish dish, and pasta is the only French dish, and pasta is the only American dish. Yeah, I think noodles maybe count too, so we could also say it's the only, like, a bunch of, you know, Thai dish, and Chinese dish, Japanese dish. The Birdcage with Robin Williams and Nathan Lane. Oh, that's a hell of a reference. The Cage au Folier, whatever it is, isn't it, isn't it something else? Isn't, is it a remake or like a, an English version of another movie? The Birdcage. Oh my god. Who is, what's his name? The guy who plays Mo Sislak's voice. Who looks, uh, you know, um, he was so strong in that movie. <laughs> uh, I don't know how to say French words, but yeah, that's the one I was thinking of. Yeah. Yeah, Hank Azaria. He was so strong in that movie. Oh man. Okay, birdcage. Birdcage, birdcage. So, to make a birdcage, I probably need a bird trap. Something is making some big noises, which I'm not crazy about. Is a birdcage separate from a bird trap, or are they sort of the same? So, we've got... What do we need? We need four silk? I can do that. He's also great in Mystery Men and Spamlot. The Blue Raja. I do love Mystery Men, actually. It's kind of a good movie. It's not a good movie, but I don't think... I think you had to see Mystery Men at the time. I think if you show somebody Mystery Men now, any reasonable person will say, this is not a good movie. But if you watched Mystery Men when it came out, then everybody can agree that it was a good movie. I think that's where Mystery Men is for me. Uh, pasta technically is Chinese, and like through trade routes, Italy they got the pasta, and China got noodles. China got the bad end of the food stick. Wait, what did they get? Wait, so Italy got the pasta. That checks out. Oh, are we saying that we like Italian noodles better than Chinese noodles? I'm not sure. Mystery Men is good, hard stop. Okay, Mystery Men is good. Sorry, what I meant to say is that Mystery Men is just a good, is the only good movie. Film cinema was over after Mystery Men. The rest of this is just some kind of a bizarre uh, afterward. You know, every movie after after that, we, we don't even really need. We're in the epilogue now. The medium is pretty much over. Okay. Holy smokes. I was making a bird trap. We could do it. I could do it. I have the, the brain cells to remember to do this. We got it. I didn't get what happened with China, but Italy got pasta from China, I believe. Yeah, that's definitely true. Yeah, Italy definitely got, got noodles from China. I mean, basically, when you're looking at world history, anytime there's an invention, an invention like China, China invented it. It's like, who invented the compass? I actually don't know if China invented the compass. It was China. Who invented paper? It was China. Who invented printing? It was China. Who invented noodles? China. Those are all the inventions. That's the end of it. They did it. China just, as a civilization, was, has been very good at inventing things. That's my, that's my hot take. My hot history take. China invented a lot of stuff. Uh, okay. It's a big place. A lot of people were there. Let's think about uh, setting a bird trap in the morning. That's when we will do that. Let's put the grass tuft in tonight. Oh, the other thing we were going to do, Rango, I just remembered. We were going, you, you recommended that we do some stuff with a pitchfork, right? Let's, let's think about, let's put the pitchfork in Chester and we'll see about doing some pitchfork shenanigans. Uh, Mystery Men and Galaxy Quest came out the same year and both are very fundamental in my childhood development. So my mother was a really 
was like a really big Star Trek fan, like when she was younger, like to the point that like we've got bookshelves at our house, right, and just tons of them in this in the in the living room because both my parents read a, a ton. Um, but it's like regular book, regular book, regular book, regular book, and then there'll be like a picture frame or something that's like on the shelf as like a little decorative, you know, thing. But if you look behind the picture frame, if you look behind any of these objects, there'll be a little vase or something. It's all Star Trek books, all Star Trek novels behind every single one of these things. So they're, they're secretly there, and there's just, I mean, there must be dozens of them. Um, so when, when Galaxy Quest came out, we went with my mom, and it was a big deal. Except if it's a philosophy that doesn't involve around war and domination. Oh, then China didn't invent it? They, what? In Galaxy Quest is the seventh best Star Trek book as voted by, or Star Trek movie as voted by Trekkies. I feel like it's got to be higher than that. Oh, I mean, were the, were the Star Trek movies good besides Wrath of Khan? And the new one where he gets cloned on the motorcycle? You know what I mean. I don't know all of these. So, yeah, Rango. So, uh, Mystery Men was like a weird comedy. So, so I need you to cast your mind back to a very different time in cinema. Sorry, I have to pause the game to, to get these important thoughts across. Um, a very important, a different, a, a very different time in cinema where superhero movies aren't really a big thing. They're just, maybe just starting to be a big thing. Like maybe the, the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man movie is out and like some X-Men movies are out, but that's like it. It's not like a phenomenon yet. We haven't had Iron Man yet. This was a superhero movie that came out at that time. And it's, uh, sorry, a superhero comedy. So it's like a pastiche or a parody or whatever of superhero movies, but made before superhero movies got really big. Uh, and then Galaxy Quest is like a parody movie also of Star Trek, basically. It's like um, Star Trek by, or it's, what is it like? It's like uh, The Seven Samurai and Star Trek. Or, you know, it's that, that same plot where like people are like under attack and they get somebody to help them, and the people that they get to help them are actually frauds. It's that, it's that, that, that classic, classic A Bug's Life kind of plot. Anyway. Uh, if you watch the music video for Smash Mouth's All-Star, it's all cameos from Mystery Men. Yeah, it's when they're doing the, like, uh, the auditions in, the, in Mystery Men, right? Uh... But I DK too much about China, honestly, except they are shitty now and seem to always be shitty imperialists. Uh, I don't know enough either, I guess. Um, the only Ben, oh, the only Ben Stiller movie I like, Mystery Men. You don't like Walter Mitty? Oh, I like Walter Mitty. I stand corrected. Are you taking, uh, comments from, uh, other people in the room and, and transcribing them to me in chat? All right, so we're getting rained on, obviously. Yes, I'm having a conversation with myself. <laughs> okay, okay, good, good, good. Well, things that would be good to do. Heal a little bit. Get a little bit of sanity. We'll see if this pig man comes back. We can, we can try to feed him, maybe. We do have spider glands. We could just eat one of these. Or we could make a small fire and burn some stuff up to get ashes. That's probably what we should do. What can we turn into ashes? Uh, some of these extra grass clippings. We do have spider glands. <laughs> we can just eat some of these. Uh, IDK, Peter Parker, I assume. Ah yes, look out. Here comes the spider glands. Uh, we need to check it out. One, two, three, four. We're gonna start a small fire. It's gonna be a controlled burn right next to the house. <laughs> We're not gonna do this again. I'm picking up the grass. We're gonna do this somewhere else in the morning. Um, <laughs> I was I was all ready to do that. I really was a hundred percent in on starting the fire right next to my house. Probably it would have been fine, but just we've burned enough of our own stuff before. We've burned our own backpack and stuff enough times. We'll just give it some space. It's it's there's no rush. Right, we'll move out here. Okay, so we have the bird trap now, but I don't know how to use it. Um, would you say you've been burned before? 
Ah! Yes. I think that's six. I would say that I have been burned before. That is exactly right. Burn it. Step back. Little fire. Just a small one. Pick up the, some grass. Uh, that square is illuminated for some reason. We can pick these flowers. Might be kind of nice. Keeping an eye on our uh, wetness here. California wishes it had this rain. For real. We could go spelunking. That's not a bad idea. We still need to try to figure out where the, uh, where the boat is, right? Maybe up here? We haven't really explored these edges very much. Like down here or up here, maybe? We could, we could go check it out. Although that's where the tall birds all live, so that could be a little dicey. Um, let's get these crops. Hello, bee. Please be kind. I have double potato. Your favorite, sweet potato. Oh man, I had, I had sweet potato yesterday. I had some boiled sweet potato with olive oil and black pepper. Oh, that's all it takes. It's good. That's a good meal. Okay, let's um, eat these flower petals and then try to figure out how to catch a bird. Do I just put it on some seeds maybe? Or like look for some seeds where there's a bird and then I don't know if they'll come out. Oh, there's one. Hey, go in this trap for some reason. I can feel it working. I want to say something controversial. They should have made sweet potato exclusive to Shipwrecked and normal potatoes from Don't Starve Together and all mo other modes. I guess they feel a little bit more... Oh my god, it worked! Bird genius. Oh my god, I didn't realize I was going to be so smart about that. Spicy take. Jake, <laughs> I don't know anything. Yeah. I guess because they're, they're more on theme with like kind of the more tropical... Thing. Okay, I have a bird now. Is that good? We wanted a bird in a cage, right? Is that science? Is putting a bird in a cage science? Is it food? Bird lives in box. That would be... Like, but in fairness, we can grow melons. True! Okay, but it's not gonna be light. Structures? Ah! Birdcage. I need paper, seeds, gold. Okay, we didn't really have all the stuff that we needed, which is a bit of an oversight, but we're going to make it work now. I also was going to make salves and then totally forgot. Oh my god, my brain is just such a sieve. Good, good gravy. Okay. It's no longer raining, so that's cool. There you go. We healed up. Somewhat. Now, we need to get some paper. I think I have one paper kicking around, maybe? Possibly. Mm, maybe it burned up. Paper in here? I have one papyrus, or cut reeds. I, def I, I had paper at some point, I think we lost it. Okay, so if I go down to the swamp, is there are there reeds down there? That feels like a place where reeds would be. Also, and together, each character has a favorite meal they get 15 extra hunger from. Oh, that's kind of fun. On out of interest, look at all these angry bees. Good God. Uh, how do I... Bee? I see you. How do I make papyrus? I need four. What is this? A mosquito sack? Do I want that? What would your favorite meal be? I guess... Meatballs. That's what we eat the most. Do we want to pick up all this random crap that's on the ground here? Chester, hold on to this bird cage. I'll hold the bird. I just feel safer that way. 
Papyrus. Okay, so we just need to make one more of these. There's reeds over there. So we're gonna go over there, we're gonna get the reeds. We'll be done in no time. I liked the, um... What is a good meal we made? I liked when we made the... We made something special with dragon fruit, I think. Like a dragon fruit tart or something that was really good. That was pretty... That felt very special. Okay, we have two paper. Just pick some flowers for the old sanity on the way back. Hello, bees. We need seeds also, right? One seeds. I saw some other seeds up here, I think, earlier. Bam. Oh my god, I remembered the seeds. Wilson's is bacon and eggs. A scientist breakfast. Ah, classic scientist breakfast. Wolfgang from cooked potatoes like a true Russian and his great 40 hungers for cooked potatoes and they heal 20 health. Seems very good. Uh, okay. I was... Structures. Structures. Bird cage. Oh, needs a bunch of gold. Okay. Obviously, bird uh, covets gold more than anything else in the world. So, we will get the gold for the bird. Bird, get ready for, for some super gold. Oh my god, it's great! Look how big it is! I love it. I'm immediately impressed. Bird goes here. So, bird, please be imprisoned. There you go! That's my bird! Well, now he lives there. That's his birdhouse. Can I put two birds? Can I make them be friends? We'll think about it. Right now I need to eat these meatballs. Uh, Wartox is pomegranate because they look like souls he eats, but he bar gets barely anything from actual food, so who cares? <laughs> um, the, uh... Oh, do the birds come to visit this bird to try to bust him out? Is that a good way to do, like, a chain bird catching? Um, pomegranates are good. Sorry. Pomegranates, they're pricey, but they're worth it. What did the bird do to deserve incarceration? He was very bad. Uh, he did the worst crime of all. He, he, he wrote a check, and it bounced. So now he's got to go to jail for all time. That's life in prison, baby. Don't do the crime if you can't do the time. Don't write phony checks. Debtor's prison. <laughs> yeah, it's basically a debtor's prison. I would say that's accurate. You know what? Summer's gonna be a real ball ache here. I can already tell. <laughs> I can already tell. Where's my bird? Where's my bird cage? Stop. It's right there on the end, PD. Use your eyes. Okay. The perfect plan. The perfect plan. Bird? We will make a friend for you soon. Okay, so now I've got a bird to keep me company. Is, a be is having a bird good for me? Is this a good thing I did? Or is this strictly a crime against nature? <laughs> uh, Wes, the hard mode character, basically being a French mime, Loves those sweet French pancakes. It needs butter, and even worse, only Warley can make it. He can't even make his own favorite dish. Oh, so you've got to get somebody in Don't Starve Together to make it for you? That's kind of cool, actually. I like that. Let's hold on to the healing salve for now. I want all this stuff on my person, I think. And if anything, I want this to be not in my backpack. What goes in the backpack? None of this. Great. Maybe the sticks. Sticks are good for torches, but the extra stack of sticks probably could go here. I probably don't need an extra stack of sticks. Now that I'm saying the word extra stack, the words extra stack of sticks. It's basically so, so Wes's favorite food buff is basically trash. Yeah. Right. Bit of a pain. If you have to rely on other people, a little tough. Don't do it, Petey. This isn't the time.
Do 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 do. Maxwell's is lobster bisque, which needs butter. A bit tough, also. Ooh. Bit of lobster bisque. I don't actually. I'm not crazy about lobster, to be honest. Especially when they serve it to you and it just looks like a lobster. <laughs> it's like, here's the animal! Exactly the way it was in life! Aren't you excited to eat this now? It's like, no, I don't, I don't want this! <laughs> but some people like it. But it's, a, it's just a lot for me, on an emotional level. Bees! Lobsters are functionally immortal, right? So my understanding, I'm gonna mansplain lobsters real quick. My understanding is that basically they, they, they're not quite immortal because they could get big forever, but every time they get bigger, they have to shed their exoskeleton, right? And so the amount of exoskeleton that they have to shed as they get longer, increase like linearly, subscribe for, to lobster splaining. Yeah, so as the lobster gets longer linearly, the amount of shell that they have to, uh, uh, like, change increases quadratically, right? Because it has to cover their whole surface area. And so my understanding is eventually they exhaust themselves to death trying to molt if they get really, really, really crazy big. Um, I don't know. I... Hashtag, I am not a lobsterologist. Would you say their shells are a log suit? I'm still trying to make math jokes. Oh, that's what the log suit joke was. That went w right over my head before. But I understand the log suit joke now. The linear suit. That's harsh. I mean, I think it's one of these things where... This is going to be a really ignorant opinion, so get ready for this one. <laughs> Strap in. Um, the, uh... I think it's one of these situations where, like... In practice, they don't get that big, right? Because imagine if, okay, ready? We're gonna do a little thought experiment. Imagine if you could live, if, 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 if you could live forever, right? You never got older, let's say specifically. Okay, let me start over. Imagine you never got older, right? You, you turned 20 or whatever, and you just stayed that same age for the rest of your life. You wouldn't live forever, right? Because eventually some disease or mishap or mayhem would happen and come along and kill you, right? So, like, even though you weren't going to die of old age, even though you were at a lower risk for being killed, people who are 20 years old die all the time, right? And it would happen to you eventually, right? And you could imagine, also, that if, like, a bunch of people all born at the same time had this weird condition where none of them age after the age of 20, over time, fewer and fewer of those people would be left alive, right? Because eventually something would happen to them that would, that would kill them off. And you'd get to a point where, like, in expectation, you would go down to zero people. And if you had, like, a lot of people, you could figure out, I don't know, how long that would be. Um, basically, I think that lobsters in the wild, the time it would take for them to get really big and die of exhaustion like that is basically past the expected point of 100% of lobsters have died from something else, right? Does that make sense? I think that's a coherent thought. I think that's also sort of true, but take it with a grain of salt. It does make sense? Okay, good. We got there. Is it summer? I don't want it to be summer. We need an endothermic fire pit. Um, what do I need for that? Niter? That's easy enough. Oh, wait, wait. For the fire pit, I need science doodads and niter and smooth stone. We could keep a long time in, like, no bacteria stuff in hospitals. Yeah, so maybe if you took, like, yeah, really careful uh, precautions, you could live longer. Yeah. But the idea is, like, eventually... I, I heard this also about uh, trees as well. People are trying to, like, argue about whether some kinds of trees are effectively immortal. And it kind of doesn't matter because they live longer than the amount of time that it takes for 99.9% .9 of trees to burn down or get knocked over or have something bad happen to them. Eaten by beetles, get some kind of tree disease, whatever it may be. When do you start your nature facts stream? My, my extremely spurious nature facts stream? Uh, someday. We'll do it. We'll do tapir facts. That'll, that way we can recycle a lot of material at the beginning. Yeah, <laughs> tapir facts. Yeah, exactly. Um, from when we did, uh, Indivisible. 
Okay, it's summertime. We need this. We need this thing. So do I have enough gold? Is the question. I have four gold. I think that's gonna be just enough. I need two science doodads. How much does it take to make a science doodad? Uh, two. Perfect. Yes, we have just enough. We're gonna need a lot of stone for this. That's fine, we can do that. Uh, we are going to need, in fact, six smooth stone. Hey look, the bees are nice again. We, we don't have enough stone. <laughs> well, I'm studying animal management and I'd be so bored to do animal facts stream. Or I'd be too bored to do animal facts stream. Don't worry, we're not really gonna do it. Um, we need rocks. Can you believe it? <laughs> we... Give us some animal facts. Yeah, give us some animal facts, Rango. If you if you if you know any offhand, no pressure. Look at all those dead animals. Okay, we need those rocks. Let's go get them. I'm ignoring this other stuff. The thing we need right now is rocks. We need to get this endothermic thing going. This endothermic fire pit is going to be a necessity here, real, real soon. There's a lot of frogs. That's a lot of frogs. Uh, look, there's rocks here, but let's try to get rocks that aren't close to all of the frogs. That's my little idea. Pickaxe. Frogs, leave me alone. I'm living my life. Stop this. Respect me. As God is my witness, I will make another bird trap. Or whatever it is. Stop this. Frog? That's it. I didn't want it to come to this. Frog murder time. Do you know that hamsters bite hard? <laughs> That's a random fact unrelated to any mistakes I made at college. <laughs> ah! It's a classic uh, fact that was definitely learned from the book. Stop this. This I hate. Okay, we'll come back for that crap later. Please. I just need rocks. I, I respect you so much, frogs. I'm just trying to get these rocks that I need. Quick. Leave me alone. I- I will- I will use force. <laughs> I will use force. Surrenders rock to the frogs. <laughs> Drinking your respect frog juice? <laughs> what does that mean? Oh, I don't know this one. I'm drinking my respect frog juice. I put on my- my frog respectacles. I'm shrinking wine. <laughs> That's what that means? <laughs> okay. Uh, heavens to Betsy. What am I doing? I needed six smooth stone. Do I have enough now? Or cut stone, whatever you call it. We do. Okay, back we go. Dodge the frogs. Get the walking stick. That's the whole reason we have it is to use it all the time. Juke the frogs, juke them. There's so many frogs. Okay, we juked him. We could pick up all these basilisk leavings, but let's just leave them alone. Did you know the lemurs shit in the most inconvenient places? I believe it. Although I was not previously aware of this. I could see that being an inconvenience. Should we pick all this grass before it burns up in the summer? We don't have time for this. Uh, oh. I got another bird. Okay, so. Do I have to kill a battalisk? Is that what's gonna happen right now? Are you fighting my bees? What an idiot. All right, uh, electric doodad, electric doodad. It says I can't hold any more stuff. Let's put these frog legs in the fridge with the other ones. Anything else we don't need to be carrying right now, like, an, uh, like a bird? 
Uh, bird, can you go in here too? Oh, no, only one bird per cage. Oh. Did you hear that? Oh my god, not right now. Uh, let's go for a walk. Hey, right, look, we caught a rabbit. Or maybe a frog. Run away from your base! We're running away, we're running away. We're going to where the, where the beefaloes roam. Yes, cool animals. Oh, red pandas are cool. I've been in an enclosure with them multiple times. Oh, I missed that. That's dope. Uh, I dropped the lantern. I didn't mean to drop the lantern, but I did drop the lantern. So now we have to be here until I can pick it up. Bit of a mistake there. Oh, we don't need the lantern yet though. How did I drop, and why did I drop the lantern? It's fine. Go be in these eyeballs. Go be in them. Spider, I don't have time for your shenanigans. Chester, get out of there. Good one. Good job. There's nothing that says we can't have this monster meat and these ashes. Oh, except our inventory's full. That says that we can't. I'll take these ashes. We kind of need ashes sort of a lot. Okay. A bit inconvenient, but we made it work. Is there any big cooked meat on the ground from these beefaloes? That would be really cool if there was. But I just don't know. We're gonna... We're gonna... Most animals are cool. I agree. I... I... I yeah. I love animals. They're be cool. I follow a lot of zoos on Instagram. Any... Maybe the dogs ate up all the meat? Alright, let's 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 get out of here. This is a, just a bad situation. Chester, are you still alive? There's frogs. Oh, good. There he is. Yep. Good. Okay, lots to do. We gotta finish this endothermic fire still. I was out at the Highlands National Zoo today and it was great. Uh, great welfare. Great, great welfare. All animals fit to highlands, and there were tiger cubs with its mother. The red dog burnt that eye plant to death. Oh, we should have replanted it. Shoot. Uh, we'll go back out and do that in a, in a bit. So wait, do I need one cage for every bird? I guess I probably do. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put this bird in a box, and forget about it. Alright, problem solved. Uh, <laughs> let's, let's, that'll do it. Good. And what about you? Oh, he's asleep. Oh. Back you go. Probably I don't need to be using my lantern right now. Do I have light bulbs? I do, so it's fine. Kids, uh, can't be replanted. It burnt the eye bulb. Ah, okay, dang. Kids solve all problems with the fridge. Listen, this is my grown-up solution to, to my problem. We just stuff the bird in the fridge and hope for the best. Oh, wait, he's not even in the fridge. He's just in a box? Oh, that's not right. The bird should go in the fridge to preserve his freshness. Oh, he can't. <laughs> Tough, do not eat. Yes! Look, I figure these uh, light bulbs are about to go bad. Just wait for it to be morning in a second. Hold up, wrong chest. Put him away. Mock the bird and tell him he will never be a Harrison. <laughs> He is a fraud and will never come on an adventure, mute bird. Harrison was Rango's uh, parrot when he was playing, uh, when I was watching his run of uh, shipwrecks. Harrison got up to all kinds of adventures, mostly, mostly of Harrison uh, not being treated, well, he was treated fine. I mean, he had it coming. Mostly, mostly he was a very bad bird who got what he deserved. <laughs> 
Um, good. I think that's fair to say. Let's pop these berries away. What are we gonna do? Finish building the damn fire, Petey. That's what bird jail is for, exactly. Yeah. Endothermic fire pit, please, can you squeeze in in here? Can I please just squeeze it in somewhere? Just, it'll fit, it'll fit. It fits, come on, don't be like this game. It fits. Maybe the endothermic fire pit can be, ah, like over here, up here. Okay, this is where the endothermic fire pit is. If we need to craft stuff and stuff, we'll we'll go we'll get the lantern out for that. Okay. I lost uh I lost it to the long ape life of six, or was it seven days? <laughs> ah yes. Yes, a good old long monkey lifespan. Uh cool. What do we need to do? So we made the endothermic fire pit. We have that ready to go. We've got some extra niter. Let's put that away. Because I guess we got it from the the, mi the boulders we mined. Let's make some meatballs, of course. Oh, let's turn the uh, flingomatics on. Could you imagine? <laughs> Ice flingomatics are on. And over here, too. Let's harvest all these berries. We'll eat these meatballs, which are spoiling, and then we'll make some more meatballs, and then we'll be sort of good. I threw poop at Harrison to catch him, and he was lucky there wasn't a murder in the inventory button. I mean, I mean, I just, I jest, I jest, Harrison. This bird is ruining our beautiful berry bushes. Oh, it's getting hot. We gotta go back to the endothermic fire pit. Shit, 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 shit. Get in the tr shade of the tree. To the fire pit. The cold one. Uh, you know what I gotta do. Cool off. Oh, you s stop. Okay, we gotta remember to turn on the ice fling if shit starts to catch on fire. Because it just puts out our campfire. Don't ask how I died. It was very honorable and clever. Mmm, mmm. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, we need more meatballs, as always. Something rotted. Oh. Oh, sick! Actually, let's, um, use that to, uh, fertilize our plants tomorrow. Did, did you forget to stick your thermal stone in the fridge? Yeah, I did. I put it by the fire instead, which also sort of made sense to me, but putting it in the fridge makes more sense. I think I was on autopilot a little bit. I was just like, thermal stone goes next to fire. New fire, new place for thermal stone. Well, cave exploration, it's cooler down there. Yeah, let's do it. Let's make some meatballs so we'll have something to eat and then let's go in the caves. I like that idea a lot. Four is probably gonna be plenty. I might leave Chester up here. Feed the bird meat for eggs and plants for seeds. Oh. Will he eat seeds? Oh. Hello. Oh, he's he loves it. Bacon and eggs. Two eggs and a meat is a heal. We could definitely go for some bacon and eggs. That'd be dope. One, two, three. And one berry for, for the bird. Here you go. Did he... Did he like that? He doesn't take it. Feed the bird meat for eggs and make bacon and eggs for cave. Oh, okay. So we want some meat. Will he take monster meat? Let's find out. Hey, bird. Uh... Be carnivorous. Ah! Oh. Two eggs and meat. Okay. Can I use monster meat for this purpose? Wait. 
Oh, two eggs and two meat. Will that do it? Can I use two monster meat? Or is that going to be a mistake? That's going to waste my eggs. Probably I should have started cooking that. Would have been the smart thing to do. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. It's fine. Trying to plant that, actually. Okay, let's see. We got two meat. Bam, bam. Two egg. Bam, bam. Put it all together. What do you get? Two monster meat is 50% for bacon and eggs or meat lasagna. Oh, shoot. We got the monster lasagna. Hey, bird. Eat this monster lasagna. That was not a very good trade for me. I got one egg back. Uh, right. Okay. So we would have to give him... Can we use the drumsticks, maybe? Okay, okay. I can fix this. I can fix this. We'll, we'll cook the drumsticks, maybe, to make some uh, bacon and eggs. We have more meat. I want to save this for my meat effigy. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's my idea. God, this bird just eats like crazy. We can give him meat all day. Well, I don't know. I mean, it's... I'm sort of worried it's just gonna spoil, but... Okay, can we make some, some delicious turkey bacon? Turkey bacon, not very delicious. Citation needed on delicious turkey bacon. <laughs> Let's find a... A hunt for meat. Okay. I'm up for that. Oh, I just made meatballs. That didn't work. Rude, I like turkey bacon. I mean... I... You'd rather have real bacon anytime you're having turkey bacon, I think. Right? I could be wrong. Let's go fertilize those berry bushes. I'd rather have real bacon, yeah? Okay. Well, there you go. But turkey bacon is its own thing. Okay, that's fair. I think maybe the turkey legs are too high or low value. IDK. No worries. It's okay. We got some meatballs. It's all good. Put some, some fuel in there. That's not very good fuel. There you go. And remembering, if a fire breaks out at the base, we gotta run and flip the ice fling on like absolute crazy. Uh, okay, let's do this. Let's put this in the fridge for the night. We're gonna go spelunking tomorrow. That's the plan. So, we need to... Oh, that bird. Should we just murder him? We're not gonna do anything else with him. Yeah, we're gonna murder this bird. Uh, nobody look. He's fine. The bird's fine. Nothing bad happened. He's still fine. He's living in, on a bird farm upstate. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Cease this. This has a crop. This one could use a little seed, though. Seed? Oh, no. They both have crops. Okay, great. Okay, we've got a healing salve to heal with uh, while we're in the cave. Nope, this is not the fridge. I regret putting that fridge so close to the box. Uh, let's just store the rot in the fridge. Just give it a little space <laughs> to separate it from everything else. That's fine. That'll be good. I know a good but hard uh, cave you have the cooperates of unknowingly. Oh, wait, I don't know because the word got bleeped out. I know good, good but hard caves you have cooperates of unknowingly. Caves are lame dark version of surface. The lower ruins level is where it gets wacky. Oh, okay. Let's, uh, let's try to... Well, we think... I think we know where the ruins are. I... I think we know. Um, so we could... We could take a look. Let's... Chester, where are you, babe? Chester, come over here. Do you have... You have a lot of pickaxes. I can tell that I've uh, made pickaxes in the pack. So, Chester, I'm going to leave you up on the surface because you tend to get killed a lot when we go down there. So hold on to stuff that I'm not going to need. 
Um, wood I want to make a fire, maybe in a pinch. I guess I don't really need wood. We'll carry stuff for a torch, though. We'll carry a pickaxe in case we want a pickaxe. We'll have flint in case we want a different tool. Uh, we'll carry the grass tufts, I guess, too. Oh, uh, let's carry the logs just in case we get caught out somewhere weird. That's not the cave. I don't think we will, but but just in case. I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. I'm not like other caves. I'm quirky. I summon nightmare creatures. Oh, wow. That's so interesting. Let's, uh... I got my lantern here, good, so we can just get more light bulbs. Let's do it like this. We don't need this umbrella right now. Uh, actually, we do need the umbrella in the caves sometimes, right? Didn't I get rained on in the caves before? So we'll put the umbrella in the backpack. Hold on to your own eye bone for now. We will come back for you later. And now we have some s several light sources. We have spots in the inventory for more stuff. We'll carry the rock with us. The, the uh, thermal stone into the cave. The ruins is behind the bunny men. Yeah, that's what I figured. Okay, because I remembered you had mentioned that before. Okay. Let's eat some meatballs. We're good on health. We're decent on most of our other stuff. And from my experience from Niter. Okay, Chester's living here. That's fine, so he will stay behind. We've got all the other stuff we would want. Do I want to leave the backpack? No. We'll bring the backpack with us. We'll flip on the log suit if things get really dicey. But that means we need to put things that aren't very important in here. Which I think we've done. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Hmm, 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 hmm. Bring Niter, you meant. Oh, and from your experiences, bring niter. Last ROG, I died to heat from ruin rushing with no niter. That makes me feel like I thought it was gonna be cooler down there. <laughs> okay, but not, but not like freezing. Got it. Can we make an endothermic fire? We do have enough. Good. It's not really a ton of niter. Ooh, that makes me a little worried. Uh, do we want to go... Is there, like, a rock we can bust open on the way? Nah, let's just jump in a hole. It'll be fine. Do we have enough food? I think so. Yeah. It is way, way cooler, but I was spending quite a while down there. Okay. Okay. Let's roll. Everything we need, everything we need. Everybody, uh, we're gonna give Chester a little kiss on the forehead. Ma, and now we're ready to go. Get these sticks. Don't bother. This stuff isn't gonna burn up while we're not here, right? Make some frog sandwiches for healing. Oh, Rango, we don't have time. We've got a healing salve, look. We got a little bit of healing. Maybe that's not enough healing. All right, you've convinced me. Let's make some frog sandwiches. I'm on board. I remember rock lobster location. Feed them some rocks for defense. Okay, so what? how does this frog leg sandwich shenanigans work again? Okay, we're gonna cook these all day. Uh, six. And we're gonna let the thermal stone rest in the fridge for a little bit longer. Is this a frog sandwich? Go in the fridge. Oh look, a pig! Oh, we can bring this pig with us. Uh, we'll feed him just before we go down. And we'll bring the pig with us. And won't that be nice? What? Wait, how do I make frog sandwich again? Rock lobsters kill everything? Everything. Wait, how do I make f the frog leg sandwich? More more frogs to berries ratio? Try 
Try legs and veggies. Oh, that's a good idea. Put a couple of sweet potatoes in. Okay, I promise there's a system. There's no system. Nobody's driving this bus. Uh... Do I have another veg in here? Yeah, I do actually. Okay. Wait for it. And a pumpkin. Come on. We just want to get in there before, like... I mean, it's it's fine. We can go over whenever. We have the, uh... It's a lot of meatballs. Uh, we'll put some of the meatballs in the fridge. Uh, cook. I want to try to go before he goes to sleep. Uh, before the pig man goes to sleep. Let's put, like, two of our meatballs away. It's not this. Game? Mercy. Alright, let's see if we get a frog leg. I think that's, I think that's what it was. I think you're right, Rango. We'll need the one monster meat. We'll take this one. No, we won't. We'll swap them. Because this one's going to go bad sooner. Waiting for it to cook. A pig man will die instantly? Oh, don't say that. Pig man. All right, all right, I back off. Yeah, there's our frog leg sandwich. Nice. A lot of bee action. Constantly on the alert for do we need to run and flip on this machine. All right, we won't bring the pig with us. Frog, leave me alone. Rock lobsters are the way. They made deer clops and badger weep. All right, if you say so. Hello, bee. Ah, uh, what a good bee. What a lovely lad. Crops are uh, not looking so good. Waiting for it. So we have everything else we need? Okay, let's go. We get the thermal stone. We pick up the sandwich on the way to go. Bam, here we go. Into this, into this hole. Hello, pig man. Hope you're doing well. Down in the hole, we will be attacked almost immediately. We remember this. It's Belunkin' time. Oh, yeah. In just a second. There we go. Uh, there's a rabbit right there. And a guy who's trying to kill me, too. So that's fun. Let's put on the lantern. And GTFO. Uh, this place is literally already a nightmare. Rango, I feel like this is a disaster down here. Do I need to come back down when I have more sanity? Grab loads of light bulbs. Let's get light bulbs, and then we're getting out of here. We gotta get more sanity before we come down here. This is this is ridiculous. Is it ridiculous? Can I live with this? So, because I'm just gonna get attacked by all the bunnies when I see them, right? If they're insanity rabbits. Now we can get blue caps down here. Uh, yeah, but I just feel like everybody's going to try to kill us. The whole time. Ah, oh, some marble. Oh, look, it's from that other time I died down here. Okay. This was the faster way, was to go up and over, right? No, bunny men just attack when you have meat on you. Oh. We have an awful lot of it. Uh, okay, cool. So we're going to run the, the gamut through here. Run the gamut? Run the gauntlet? Run the gauntlet. Yeah. 
They don't like it. No. The bunny men are upset at my carnivorous no. ways. No. I want to grab these, but I am under attack. No. I, I can't pick the mushrooms, <laughs> Rango. I'm being pursued by deadly bunnies. But if I see any and I'm not being pursued by a rabbit, I will keep this in mind. Please don't be a dead end. You should have picked more light bulbs. You need like 15. I. When was I going to pick the light bulbs? <laughs> I've never been somewhere where there were light bulbs where I wasn't under assault. We're dead. At the swamp? Gonna head out early, bye. We're done. We're done. You let, it's the perfect time to head out. We're, we're gonna call it here. Uh, uh, at least we unlocked literally every character. Yeah. Cool. Oh, I didn't like that. <laughs> I feel very salty about that. Uh, let's look at the, let's look at what we unlocked. So when we do our next run, sometime, we'll be able to play as so many more characters now. Look, we'll be able to go like, yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 R Rango, it's not on you. I, it's on the bunnies. We got all these characters now. Ah, oh, fantastic. Uh, <laughs> it's okay. It was, if it wasn't that also, it was gonna be something else. Um... Oh, just such a brutal... It's just amazing how fast things can go off the rails in this game. And you can just get completely, completely owned. Uh, let's go to the calendar real quick, just to wrap up for today. I, I think let's call it there. I, I don't really see... We're, we're at time just about anyway. Um, it's probably a good place to, uh, to call it. Except Hamlet-level characters, because it isn't a compatible world. Oh, makes sense. Those were the ones that were locked still. Uh, cool. Let's go to the calendar. Uh, but bam So, this <laughs> has been Cool People Monday. And we unlocked Weber. That's right, because we, we buried his skull and, and ran from all the spiders. Ah, was good. Um, we played some Don't Starve. Brought to an end our long, long run. Oh, we were going for like two weeks. It's good. It's good. It gives us a clean slate. It gives us a place to start over. I think... Uh, we're gonna start playing a different main game for a little bit though, just to slot something different in between. But we will come back to, to Don't Starve. I want to check out some of the other characters at a minimum. Um, and maybe some of the other, uh, the other kind of settings or expansions as well. However, we'll be back tomorrow for Cool People Tuesday. We'll be starting a new game, and that game will be Death's Door! Which, as I understand, is like 2D Dark Souls, but you're a bird. Uh, so I'm into it. I want to see what it is. Uh, we'll at least give it a, a, a good starve. A, a good start. It was a very don't starve in death. Agreed, agreed, agreed. Just all of a sudden out of our depth, getting totally wrecked. I should have done, I should have put on the log suit, right? I should have ditched the backpack as soon as we were getting really cornered by those guys. Um, but yeah. Anyway, to summarize, we'll be back at Don't Starve someday, although I don't know quite yet when, but soon. Uh, and we'll be back tomorrow from 8 to 10 Eastern Standard Time, starting Death's Door. Death's Door looks like a classic Zelda. Yeah, it looks like, it looks good. You should have made more helms. Yeah, I could have had more helmets too. Lots of things we could have done different. Um, if you watched any of this live tonight, thanks so much for watching live. Thanks for being with us as we, as we brought to a close this chapter of our Don't Starve journey. Uh, and if you watched this as a recording or on YouTube, thank you so much for watching that way too. And until next time... I will. Where is it? Bam. See you later.